seems as though every family in the UK has owned one of these at some point. It is the Ford Fiesta. I inherited my grand's Mark I bright yellow beast, complete with one litre engine, a few decades ago, and it is very much loved today. Ford launched its first ever front-wheel drive small hatchback back in 1976, and pretty much it has been Britain's biggest selling car ever since, which means that their classified ads are bursting with great used Fiestas for sale. So whether you're looking for something that's affordable, economical, reliable, refined, or a car with decent tech, there's one for you. Welcome to our guide to help you find the best one. We are concentrating on the Mark 8 here, which was first launched in 2017 and facelifted in 2021. And for a great deal on a used Fiesta, do visit buyacar.co.uk. When the Mark 8 Fiesta arrived, it was the cleanest, the safest, most spacious and efficient Fiesta ever. And the engine lineup goes like this. Non-turbo 1.1 litre petrol with 69 or 84 brake horsepower. Turbocharged 1 litre with power at either 99, 124 or 138 GGs. Diesel power comes with a 1.5 TDCI engine with 84 or 119 brake horsepower. If you want an auto, the only option is the 1 litre EcoBoost petrol with 99 bhp. If you need some spirit in your Super Mini, then there's the ST version with almost 200 brake horsepower, which landed in showrooms a year later, and there are three trim levels available, simply titled ST1, ST2, and ST3. Almost the entire range comes with a six-speed manual gearbox, but the 1.1 litre has a five-speed. That isn't the pick of the bunch, though, because the engine is a bit on the slow side. But whichever Fiesta you choose, you will have a hoot when you drive it, and the Fiesta definitely sets the benchmark for this type of car. The interior is spacious enough for two six-footers up front and slightly smaller grown-ups in the back. The five-door model is more practical than the three-door, obviously, and it's also more popular. Ford reckons that about three-quarters of the models have back doors. Inside, there's an attractive dashboard with excellent fit and finish throughout, but the boot isn't the most spacious in its class at 292 litres. Folding the rear seats boosts this by three and a half times. If you fancy your Fiesta with a twist, the summer of 2018 saw the arrival of the Fiesta Active, which featured rugged protective cladding and a raised ride height, but no real off-road ability. When it comes to levels of equipment, things start with style. You get air conditioning, Bluetooth connectivity and electric front windows and mirrors. A pretty good starting point. Then, depending on the year of the Fiesta you're looking at, there's ZTEC or Trend, which welcomes alloy wheels, Apple CarPlay and a 6.5-inch touchscreen. After that, there are titanium models with larger touchscreens, cruise control and keyless go, which allows you to start the car and drive off with the key buried deep in your pocket. The Mark 8 Fiesta is topped off in luxurious Vignale trim, which brings quilted leather, a panoramic sunroof and, of course, the highest price. Let's talk prices. Despite the Fiesta selling in huge numbers, the massive demand for second-hand cars means that the Mark 8 is not the cheapest around. Plus the fact that most are petrol powered with manual gearboxes means that if you want an automatic or a diesel, then you will have to pay a premium. The cars that can stay away from the pumps the longest are the diesels with a maximum of 58 mpg. The Fiesta's first service is due after 12 months or 12,500 miles, whichever comes first, with another service at 18,000 miles. Minor and major services alternate after that at a cost of around 200 and 300 pounds respectively. Once your Fiesta hits its third birthday, Ford offers a discounted maintenance scheme called Motorcraft and the service price drops a bit. 
Brand new Fiestas come with a three year, 60,000 mile warranty, but that can be extended when first bought to five years and 100,000 miles. So keep an eye out for that bonus. It's really important to spend some time doing some research. So with your budget in mind, get to know what condition of car you can afford and then go for the one with the lowest miles. On average, we do around 8,000 miles per year. Like almost every car, the Fiesta has had some recalls. The Mark 8 has had three since 2017, with the biggest recall affecting nearly 5,000 cars with faulty brake servos. Check that this has been done if you're looking at a car built during December 2017. Whichever Fiesta you're looking at, ask the seller if it comes with the sleeping keyless fob, which reduces theft. This can also be retrofitted for £200. The Mark 8 builds on the model's class-leading sharp handling and has rightly been a top Super Mini for decades. My pick would be the Hot ST, though I would warmly welcome a well-maintained middle model to sit alongside my Mark 1.